Hello, hello. <laughs> Outside today. You look like a big <laughs> banana. I'm a big banana today. Uh, yeah. yeah. There we go. That's what we do. So why are we here today? Well, well who who the... are we too? Like this was a kind of a weird a weird way to start the video. Adam. And Brienne. Twin from you know within. Yeah. And uh don't mind my mask. It kind of looked like a diaper. <laughs> it kind of looked like a diaper when <laughs> <laughs> She's walking around holding a diaper. <laughs> yeah, so why are we here today? What are we doing? Well, we're on our walk. And right now we're standing by, you know, an old building from the 1400s. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're up on like, the mountain. There's a castle up here. Yeah. yeah. All the scenery. Yeah. Yeah, we normally do our videos inside, but we wanted to take it outside today. Yeah. But really why we're here is to um, talk about dreams. Yeah, we've been studying dreams. We're Twin Flames in Harmonious Union. We've been studying dreams for going on four years now, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we often see, you know, Twin Flames asking about their dreams. And it's a very hot topic and it's, you know, a lot of questions are brought up. And we recently did a dream guidance workshop. Mm -hmm. And um, we took the participants, you know, we took them deeper into uh, finding out how they can unpack their dreams and find the meaning of their dreams uh, to reveal, you know, what it's communicating to them. We looked at premonitions. Um, what else was it? Um, lucid dreams. Lucid dreams, yeah, which is something that I had actually, I had heard about it, but I never really studied it. Mm -hmm. So one of the participants, you know, um, brought that to the table and we unpacked that we just had a lot of fun together i mm -hmm. gotta switch hands because this one's getting cold hold on <laughs> well, there you go i do yeah. there okay that's better yep. um so yeah so we wanted to hop on here today and make a video to just share with you guys a little bit about um you know twin flame dreams mm -hmm. and i'm gonna share one of my dreams with you a twin flame dream that I had and it was actually like a premonition and um, yeah like just this this video will help you get clear on you know if you've had some twin flame dreams and it's just not twin flame dreams it could be any dream like dreams in general we all have dreams so um, yeah so I'll just start with sharing my twin flame dream with you you want to sit down are you okay like that it's gonna yeah it's pretty windy okay right now, yeah so, so I'll just uh, this video won't be too long but mm -hmm. So this is my, obviously, true twin flame, Adam. <laughs> okay, but before I realized that Adam was my true twin flame, I um, was experiencing a false twin flame. I didn't know that they were false, um, you know, at the time. And so this person, there's people coming. <laughs> there was a... So this person that I had been pursuing, you know, that God revealed to be my true twin flame. I gotta switch again. Sorry, we're in a we're in Norway, it's and it's cold. super it's super cold out, and I should have wore gloves. I didn't think about that. Yeah. But anyways, um, yeah. So I had this dream one night, like shortly before I was, you know, it was revealed that Adam was my true twin flame, and in this dream I was a uh, running after my false twin flame and I didn't know why I was running after them but um, I felt like there was a lot of guilt coming up and I basically wanted to catch them and um, let them know that I was sorry I wanted to apologize and so as I approached my false twin flame and remember at the time I thought it was my true twin flame right like I didn't I didn't get it at the time but in the stream um, I finally caught up with them and they stopped and turned around and there was like a little bit of um, kind of like distress on their face and a little bit like they didn't really want anything to do with me, was with, which was the constant energy that I was experiencing all throughout my journey to pursuing, um, you know, my twin flame union. Can you hold that for me, please? Let yeah, me hold that for you. Thank you so much. So you get to hold the diaper. <laughs> so um, anyways, uh, so I finally caught up to my false twin flame and they turned around and I said, you know, I said, I'm so sorry. Like, I just want to apologize to you. And they didn't say anything. And um, 
I was just apologizing for um, putting that on them, right? Like uh, for pursuing them and them not actually being the one, which at the time I didn't know it. And I just, I was apologizing and I just kept apologizing. I felt so much grief and disbelief and like I, you know, it had been years that I was pursuing this person and um, you know, they just kind of nodded their head, acknowledged what I said and then they walked away. And when I woke up, I had like a lot of sadness. I had to release, you know, grief and sadness and attachments, you know, cause I was really attached to this person. And that dream was like a premonition for me um, because just maybe a couple weeks later, when I had released attachments to this person and I moved through the grief and I moved through the sadness and really I was apologizing to myself, right? Um, Cause your twin flame is you. So it was me apologizing to me in the dream. Um, yeah, lo and behold, it was revealed that that was actually a false twin flame. And that dream always stood out to me because it was a, it was a sign of things to come, right? And that was the way that God gently guided me into the next step in the revealing of, hey, this is a false twin flame. Here's your true twin flame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Sorry, it's a little bit windy. <laughs> Let me switch hands again. <laughs> there oh, we go. Like dreams are so much fun, you know, yeah. when you go into them. And especially when you look back as well, those dreams that stood out, mm -hmm. what they, you kind of get the, the deeper meaning to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, even, yeah, it can develop over time. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. like for you, it was like a few weeks later. You can see that. Right? Exactly. And know that, um, you know, I can feel like there may be some fear that comes up here as people are watching this. For one, just because I experienced a false twin flame doesn't mean you are, mm -hmm. right? Um, everyone's journey is unique and different, and it's safe to trust your heart. And if God is revealing to you that someone is your twin flame, go all in and pursue it wholeheartedly. Um, you can't go wrong. And, you know, if your situation is like mine and later on it was revealed that they were a false, well, know that the person that's brought into your life is going to be perfect for you. Your twin flame was created in perfection and they're going to meet you perfectly um, in all ways. Um, yeah, so that for me was a premonition. And there's also dreams that we have where it's simply a, uh, a uh, opportunity to mirror what's coming up in the dream. Like, let's say, for instance, if you have a dream that your twin flame is running from you. Well, you know, uh, Adam and I are, um, we come in a harmonious union and got married as a result, I switch again, <laughs> as a result of Jeff and Shalia's teachings. Um, Jeff and Shalia teach uh, the true way to come into harmonious union with your twin flame and that is through the use of the mirror exercise and just short you know real short synopsis but the mirror exercise is a spiritual tool it's very simple but yet powerful and it just shows you and helps you heal the blocks in your union so that you can have physical harmonious union with your twin flame mm -hmm. but um in that, like a lot of dreams that people have is simply indicating a place inside of their consciousness that's in need of healing. Um, remember too that you have several different layers of consciousness. You have, oh, a bird. Oh, there's a bird. <laughs> there was a bird hiding in the roof there. Yeah. And I guess you finally took the opportunity to leave. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have like your conscious, like where you're, you know, you're aware, here we are, mm -hmm. um, you're listening to this video, and then there's uh, the subconscious, and then there's an even deeper, uh, deeper layer than that. And um, this deeper layer is where we can hold on to traumas mm -hmm. um, or core wounds, where you may not even know that it's there, but as it comes to the surface, you may have, well, let's say, for instance, you experience abandonment, let's say as a kid, um, you know, whether it be a family member or in some way, you ex or it could be a past life, right? You experience, sorry if that wind's too loud. Yeah. <laughs> but let's say you experienced abandonment in a past life or as a baby, as a child, and you've kind of like numbed out to it. You've forgotten about it, or you may even know that it's there, but you don't think it's really a big deal. Um, well, in your union, 
or really, really any area of your life, that fear, that underlying fear is going to be there. And this happens a lot with twin flames where they fear that their twin flame is going to leave them or that they're going to choose someone else. And really it could be just that fear oftentimes is that trauma or that fear of abandonment from that core wound that's rising to the surface of your consciousness to be healed. And that's why we practice the mirror exercise because it shows you how to heal that. And your consciousness, because it's layers, you're continuously carving out those layers um, until eventually the core is revealed and it's dissolved completely. And we also have, you know, um, mind alignment process with Chrissy Emmerich, um, created by Jeff and Shalia. So if you do have traumas, um, there's also that route. We can share the link below. Um, no trauma is too small or too big. All traumas are healable and MAP is a very powerful, it's like the next level. Um, well, you're training to be a, be a MAP practitioner. So would you like to share a little bit about that real quick? Yeah, it's like a very easy way to heal your trauma. It can be very easy uh, through choices, right? Like mm -hmm. um, there's just like places within you, you feel like you may be hurt or um, you can't heal, mm -hmm. but yeah, we have experience as well by going through MAP that um, it is possible. We've healed traumas there. So, and that's why I'm becoming a MAP practitioner as well, because there's more to go around. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's really, yeah, it's really powerful. And so um, we won't go too much into that, but we will provide the link below. And if you're, um, if you feel called to, you're more than welcome to check it out. Um, so yeah, dreams, we're talking about dreams, but know that dreams are, a, are a manifestation of what is within your consciousness, right? Remember that it is a manifestation of what is within you. Um, and God does communicate to you through your dreams because when we're sleeping, we're in a completely surrendered state and those subconscious fears and things can, uh, can, you know, rise into the surface of your consciousness and come into your in your dream state so use the mirror exercise you can write your dreams down on paper share your dreams sometimes i find like writing it down it really helps me get clear on um you know what is being shown to me and number one feel the feelings related to the dreams you be i often find times that dreams i had um can you hold this for a little bit? My hands are freezing. Maybe you just want to like hold it on me for a second. Yeah, go a little bit like that. Okay, that works. <laughs> ah, now I can keep my hands warm. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll often find that, um, where was I at? What was I saying? Well, feeling your feelings. Yeah, like, like a little animal. Mm -hmm. um, you'll often find that I've had dreams before where I write them down and I start mirroring them and the dream itself had nothing to do with what it was highlighting in my consciousness. So you can't always take a dream for, for surface, uh, for face value. You really just want to get clear by writing it down and um, what feelings is it providing. And sometimes it'll just be a pleasant dream of your twin flame where you have a dream that they're loving you or they sent you a message or, you know, they texted you or they gave you a kiss or you guys were intimate well trust that that's the truth of your union there's nothing really to go deeper there other than that's just a revealing of what is truly there at the core and that's what you're manifesting as you heal your union you're manifesting that great love and um if you have a dream that there's a fear or um there's you know something that just doesn't feel good we'll write it down and get clear and mirror it we can also too put the link to the mirror exercise uh, in the box below if you're, if this is the first time that you've heard that. Yeah, so I feel like we've shared quite a bit here, um, kind of given like a basis on how to help you unpack your dreams and um, oh, also too, introducing the Dream Guidance Workshop. Guys, it's only $22, like it's three whole hours um, of dream interpretations. Um, we talk about aliens, we talk about all kinds of stuff, like lucid dreams. Um, it's, it's really, it, we just had a lot of fun together. 
Um, and if you purchase this, you have it for a lifetime. Like you'll always have the link. You'll always have the password. It's always available to you. And the reason I say that it's always available to you is because anything um, that we create is eternal, right? It's not something that you'll watch and you'll just shove it in the cabinet or something somewhere. Not that you can put it in a cabinet, but, <laughs> but it's something that you can reference to and go back to time and time again. And um, you learn from it, grow from it, and help you also to become a master at interpreting your dreams. Um, yeah, so we highly recommend that you invest in that. And feel free to comment below if you like. You have anything else you want to say? No, go no? get the dream guidance workshop. Yeah, we'll add the link below. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's a bit wonky. Yeah. So before we go too, we will, uh, yeah, share with you, like I said, we're in Norway. So we'll share with you some beautiful ocean um, here in just a second. Mm -hmm. Where? Geese. Geese. We're back. Hello. <laughs> Where are we at, Adam? Well, it's called, um, I guess, tra roughly translated Castle Mountain above Tunsberg. Tunsberg in Norway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So up there is the castle. I think you've seen it in the background from the last clip. Yeah, I think it was behind you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is um, a place behind our apartment where we always come, always come to walk. They've got like a long, um, a long thing of stairs right there. It's yeah. fun to work out on. Yeah. It goes all the way up. Oh yeah, it's, it's a good workout for sure. And then we have the ocean, which is still frozen. It's pretty cold here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really pretty, especially in the uh, spring and fall time, which we're approaching spring now. Yeah, it's really pretty land. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.